What is going on everyone? Welcome to episode 10 of the Iron Man Completion Series. Now, I really hope you enjoy the video today and for a new video we are not starting with the fletching content so very good very good start to the episode. Well this R hat kill will be pretty special for my account. A nice little level up about the gain. There it is. You look in the chat. 113 virtual HP. So I think I, I'm now like technically over halfway to 120 HP. That is actually my um second stat. That is 113. I only have that's my highest stat also, like tied for highest level, virtual level. So that'd be nice to see 113, eight, like 120 HP one day. That's a I like that cape. It's a very nice cape. But yeah, I'm gonna plan to do a decent amount of R hatch. A lot of it's off screen because I just don't get any special drops. But yeah, I may even get the um claw eventually. Be nice before like sub like. Like maybe a like below 2k KC, that'd be nice. So during that um trip, I just got another level 10 Ganoderic legs. So let me go ahead and dismantle that for, and yes, yeah, so let's dismantle that for 102 invention. Very nice. I believe that's like 41.1 mil, and my staff's level 11, so that's gonna be another 621k in a second. So that's not too bad. I kind of want to try range, honestly. Or hats. I know it's another week to mage, and I get decent invention XP with these two augmented. But um, yeah, I wouldn't mind trying some um some range just to get the range XP because I want to go for 120. So that'd be nice. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna go back to our hats or bamboo. One of those because I'm trying to. I, I do bamboo right now in AFK because I, I need the 5k chimes. So it's time to open up another oyster. I'm gonna guess about a hundred k. Oh, hundred k. H3. Do I have that? Let's find out. So the moment of truth. Let's see what we do. No, I already have it. Oh well. Actually, no, I can't. It was pretty bad. If I was unique, that would have been good. But I think I'm gonna do a lot of R hats tonight. I'm gonna check my chime, my bundle bamboo. Yep, that that's enough for my um my sphere part. But ah, eh, I'm gonna keep storing them up. Well, we just got our first drop. So that's nice, and it's a free one point two million. But yeah, Draconic Visage, first drop of the Arhats. I believe I'm at 500 KC. That's not too bad. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the first drop of the Arhats. So it's not too bad. It's like 1.2 million. So boosting up that cash back up to 50 mil. And speaking of speaking of cash, I have like uh, like 35 mil GP just in Rune Orb Bar. So my plan right now is to wait all that until I get to 100 million cash stack because that's gonna be look beautiful. But yeah, our hats aren't going too bad, about 500, 600kc, so hopefully we get the hopefully we get the claw in the next 1,000 kills, it'd be nice. There we go, drop number 2 is a nice, another 1.2 mil, pretty sure it's 1.2 mil when you make a, vis uh, a visage, not a visage, when you make the visage into a shield, but yeah, visage number 2, uh, let's get, a, let's get something else, come on. And very, very fast, I don't remember when, you could probably check the aura in the, uh, other like clip I just had I don't really know but very fast same trip got another draconic visage so that means three visages now and zero claws I don't know the drop rate of either one I would assume they're fairly close together and I was looking away my other account I'm just gonna take a random guess that they're probably around the same drop rate I don't know it could be could be a little different but I'm on Jagex I got three and there we go, 111 magic coming in from the R hats. Yeah, not too much to say about that. I believe it's like 42 million, yeah, 42.7 million magic XP. So it's like, I believe, my second highest combat stat. So not too bad. I mean, at least like it's more money, you know? It's more money. Come on, Jagex, or come on, R hat, just drop, just drop me one of your claws, please. Yeah. That's not bad, I guess. Finishing the trip with a uh, Draconic Visage, so I think number 5, so... Yeah, it's like 6 mil GP. Give me all the GP. So the time has come again to siphon my Noxtef after using it so much at the r hat. So, without further ado, let me go do it for 103 Invention. Very nice. I believe 105 is the next level where I get to buy some more things with Discovery, with Inspiration, so... Not too bad. Pretty close to that level. But yeah, let's go get back to the R hats. Alright, there we go guys. Just got another invention level. 
from R Hats. 101 to 104 has been 100% R Hats, so not too shabby. Sitting at 2680 total level now. Every freaking time I look away, I get a beam. Every time I look at the beam, I get a draconic visage. Number 8, ladies and gentlemen. Well guys, I'm going to change what I'm doing a little bit right now. So as you can see, my inventory below, this is my current loot from uh, our hats. But there was a Q&A today for the month ahead. And Mod Robin in it said that Mo Augmented Dyes would be coming out close to the end of this month, probably. So that means my, um, my schedule for August is going to change a little bit. What I planned for August was to kill Corp for the first half about and then I thought Augmented Dyes was going to come out around middle of August but since now it's late August that means I have an entire month to, to um, slowly get my uh, Mizaru Mizuyari? Is that how you say the tier 85 spear? Let's see, whatever the tier 85 spear is called. I might be butchering that word but I believe that's what it is so that means that I have all the time in the world I want to do our hats slowly while I also just go do some Slayer. So I'm actually going to go back and do a bit of Slayer and I'm going to do our hats on the side because I've just done a run over I think close to 2kkc now. So so my next Slayer task is Crystal Shapeshifters which I actually picked up a few, few episodes ago. So I really want to go and just go do those so I'm going to go do those and I'll be back. I'll probably go back to our hats next episode. Or maybe do a tiny bit at the end of this episode, but... So yeah, I'm going to go do my Crystal Shapeshifter task, and I'm probably just going to keep doing Slayer for the rest of this video. Maybe a tiny bit of our hats, but most likely just only Crystal Shapeshifters and Slayer. Oh, yes. I just got the best drop here. Uh, I didn't even know I didn't even know I got it, because I just saw I saw the thing, a golden beam shines over your item. And I picked, I picked, I um, used Luke, Luke um, the area loot, whatever, but... I just got the Elder Seed. I can do the um, I can do the Prif Elite Diary or Task, whatever you want to call it now. Oh yes, that's a good task. I'm glad I picked this task. I almost didn't pick it because I heard, I swear someone told me these are annoying, but they're actually pretty easy. I know I'm using range, and I probably not the best setup, but I just want the range XP for. I want to go for the 120 cape because it's one of my favorite combat 120s. But I got the Elder Seed. This is an amazing task. I really like it. So. Maybe I'll have to do the um, task system soon, but yeah, I need to go plant that actually. I think, hope I can protect it. I don't really know. And literally the kill after, I just got an Attune Crystal Armor Seed. I mean, that's not good at all, but I mean, it's something. Well, it is time to plant the Elder Sapling in here and pay for it. And I will see this sapling in about, I believe, three days. Yeah, that's not fun, but. That means after that I can actually finish this task system. I only have a few left if we look. Yeah, I only have, what, 11 left? That's not too bad. And all of them are really easy. I know I have two that I can't do right now, but I really can. I can just go get the items real fast and it'll untick. But yeah, I have nothing else that's really hard. So I could probably do this within the time. So yeah, I'll probably go do that. I'll probably do it next episode because three days. I'm probably going to release this episode in the next three days. So. Yeah, this will probably be done next episode, or the episode before that, not gonna lie. I get lazy sometimes, so I might just forget about this, but it'll be done soon. It'll be done eventually. Okay, I just noticed something really funny, I'm walking back. So, I logged in, I re had to re-log because I went and did something, and it just says, Congratulations, you've gained an extra Treasure Hunter Daily Key. I hope not. No, I don't have anyone. That'd be funny though, if you, like Jagex messed up and somehow gave me Treasure Hunter Keys. Can I even open it? Nope, you cannot play Treasure Hunter. Okay. That's that's pretty funny though. I guess they did something and then they just it's just I guess I don't know. I don't know how they did that. Here we go with the completion of the first Crystal Shapeshifter task. Overall, not too bad. A pretty decent task. Good XP. I have really no complaints, but yeah, let me go grab my next task. Time to ask Morvron for the next Slayer task. Come on, let's get something nice about a boss task. Ooh, perfect. Aviancies. Very nice. Thank you, Morvron. Completed my Kriara task. I unfortunately didn't get anything, but I got a hard and elite clue scroll, so I'll have to do that after I pick my next Slayer task. Alright, Morvron, you beautiful elf. What is my... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait. No, I don't have a, uh... I don't have a ticket. 
All right, now Morvron, you can give me a task. It's really bad that I don't want to do either one of these tasks. I don't know why, I just don't like Eret task. I think this is a sin. This is a sin, I think. I think this is a sin, but I really want to do some of these tasks. So, I'm sorry for sinning. Slayer Master, Slayer, like, oh, Slayer people. Hmm. But, I'm going to sin. I'm going to skip. I skipped that Eret, so. What do I want to do? Crystal Shapeshifters or Night Hills? I like Crystal Shapeshifters. I don't really need anything from Night Hills, and I don't think I'll get a 1 in 1 million drop rate of Zare, but it'd be pretty funny though. So here we are, like usual, at the max skill with the caskets. But this time, because I always open up the hard first, I'm going to open up the elite. Maybe it'll give me that little RNG boost I need. So come on, elite. Ooh, that is very, that is very standard for an elite. Elite number 87, I think it's a 260k. Let's reroll it in two. Ooh, do I have those? Oh, I think I already have spiky. Aw, that sucks. But, ah, uh, that was okay. So let's open up the hard. That's a very, very standard hard. That's a very standard hard. 72k reward. That's, uh, but I'm pretty sure I already have this. Yeah, it says I don't have it, but I think I do. Yeah, I have it right there. Man, that sucks. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Well guys, I'm going to finish off the video with a little bit more R hats. I've got a little bit more motivation, so I'm going to go do a little bit more R hats. And probably about two to three hours of it. I don't know. Maybe more, I don't really know. But after that, it looks like the video is going to be a little bit long enough, so I'm just going to go ahead and upload, and we'll do some more R hats next episode if I don't get it tonight. But if I get it, that's awesome. Then we can do some corp ne next video. And I am so pumped to do corp, honestly. But yeah, I'm going to go do some R hats and wish me luck, honestly. So this is the first time I pretty much ran out of charms. I actually came here at 9 and I realized, wait a minute, I don't have enough for an hour. Because I don't use, an, I, I use maybe, I don't know, maybe use maybe 10. It depends on RNG, honestly. It's heavy RNG. But I use a, de I use a couple an hour, so I'm like, wow. I'm gonna run out this hour, so yeah, I'm just. I have to kill some Anagamis, probably another 10, and I'll be fine for a few more hours, but. I don't have any more I really wanna do, man. There we go, with the final magic level I will be getting of this video. 112 magic over here at the R hats. Actually, I'm gonna do one more for good luck, but this is gonna be the last R hat I kill for this video because. I am tired of killing him right now. I am. I think I'm around 2k kills. I don't know, maybe more. I have I have honestly lost track. After this kill, I will go back to the bank and I will show you my loot. So if anyone knows how much your loot you get from like 2,000 R hats expected, then then maybe I got 2k. But I'll I'll go show you right now. So guys, if you look at my inventory down here, you can see all my drops I've gotten so far from R hats, aka Spirit Dragons. So the notable drops being Eight draconic massages, uh, 2k unpowered orbs, 1800 sapphire bracelets, random stuff like that. Basically, a lot of good invention components, and about 10 mil cash right here. So, without further ado, let me do another wealth evaluator check. I'm gonna guess around 28 million GP. 26 million. Okay, that's that's only a few more since the last one, but. Yeah, that's, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys that because this will be the end of the video. I'm sorry that I didn't get the uh, spear part, but, you know, it happens. RNG is not on my side again, but it's okay. I've had amazing RNG in this account. It will come back. I am sure of it. And maybe we're saving RNG for Corp and Next because they will be coming. That's one reason I've been doing a lot of R-Hats, really, because I really just want to do some Corp. I've been missing Corp. I haven't done Corp in a long time. But, yep, this will be the end of episode 10, so I hope you enjoyed, and episode 11 will be out fairly soon, so take care, everyone.